This video is all about the Google Keep extension for the purpose of research. This is great for teachers. This is great for students. And the extension just resides up here in the extension bar up here in Google Chrome. And what it allows you to do is to gather resources based off of a topic. So that way you can do more time efficient research. All right. So with that, I'm going to get started. First things first, I do have the Google Keep app installed. And when I open it up, Here's what the Google Keep app is. I have a separate video talking about the Google Keep app and just giving a quick overview of it. But that's not so much what this one's about. This is more about the fact that you can use it for research. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to first, the first thing I'm going to do is when I visit Google Keep, which is an app, it's also a website. If you go to keep.google.com is I need to add a label. Um, the reason why I need to add a new label is because you can't add a label from the extension. You can add existing labels, but you can't create new ones. So I'm going to go ahead and just call this Adams. The reason why is because as I gather resources about Adams, I'm going to label them with that label. I'll go ahead and minimize this. I don't need that at the moment. All right, so here's an article on Adams. I have a Google Doc here uh, that I'm going to refer to later, and I also have a video. Those are the three items I'm going to work with right now, along with Google Keep. All right, so with that, let's say I'm researching atoms and I want something important from this article. Let's say I highlight this material and I want to use this material for later. I'm going to hit the Google Keep extension and it automatically embeds the link as well as it takes the text. Now, this is not encouraging cheating. What it is is an opportunity to gather those resources. You have the link directly there. You have the text directly there. You just got to keep in mind, you cannot use this word for word. That would be cheating. So I'm going to go ahead and say I got this from Wanderopolis about Adams. Sorry if I misspelled something there. And what's also kind of cool is that once I have that information in, then I can actually choose my existing label here. I'm going to choose Adams, and now it is labeled with Adams. And you can even double... Uh, mark this. So if I have a label called research, I can label it as research. So I can even double label that. And then what it did is it just saved it. So let's see what happens though. If I'm moving along and I want to add some more, I can highlight some more information and I can hit the Google Keep icon. And what it does then is it will add the extra text that I just highlighted and put it in with my previous. Now, anytime I'm in the midst of this, while I'm reading this, I could add my additional notes. So things that I could add directly here from the extension itself, and it pops it right into my Google Keep note. Okay, there's that. Now I'm gonna move on to a video. I'm gonna go ahead and just click on the extension here so it goes away. I'm gonna to go to a video, and let's say I start watching the video. Atoms are ridiculous and unbelievably small. A single human hair is about as thick as 500 I'm going to hit my extension stacks over each other look at your fist it contains trillions and trillions of and I still have my note even when I click on the extension again and it goes away I'm going to go ahead and label this atoms I'm going to label it research you don't have to double label I'm just doing it just for the fun of it and then it is saved I'm done Okay, so you can even take notes while you're watching a YouTube video. That is pretty cool. Then what's even cooler yet is in the past, what you had to do, you had to open up Google Keep and you had to have it side by side along with your notes, which is fine. It did work. But what's even cooler is that it's now built in. If I go over here to tools into Google Docs. Now, this is only in Google Docs. It's not in slides or sheets. But what it does is actually pulls in my research and I can even search for specifically those notes that I just took. I'm going to search here. I'm going to search atoms and it'll pull up my items that I pulled about atoms. So here I have my notes all about atoms. Here's my Wonderopolis research. Here's my YouTube video research. If I need to get back to these items, I can actually click on the items itself. Looks like the uh, link is not actually linked there. That's okay. Um, but 
it is there and I do have the information in order to be able to use it. If I really needed to, I could copy and paste it. If I needed to visit that site, probably be actually better if I just visited Google Keep itself. And as you can see, if I do it from Google Keep itself, then it actually is already linked for me and I can revisit that site when I click on the link. And that pops it open here into a separate tab so I can revisit that resource. Okay, so that is what's cool about the Google Keep extension along with the cool Google Keep notepad that's built into Google Docs to increase your productivity when it comes to research.